White House, U.S. President Barack Obama took part in a year-end news conference. The Syrian crisis and efforts against ISIL at home and abroad were among the key topics. And CCTV's Jim Spellman is here with a look at what the U.S. President had to say. Mike, President Obama is entering his last year in office. Clearly, he's looking to cement his legacy while managing the ongoing threat presented by the Islamic State. At his end-of-the-year news conference, U.S. President Barack Obama took a victory lap of sorts, claiming credit for the U.S. economic recovery. But questions from reporters focused on his handling of the Syrian civil war and the rise of ISIL. Obama defended his administration's airstrikes against the Islamic State. Now squeezing ISIL's heart, its core in Syria and Iraq, will make it harder for them to pump their terror and propaganda to the rest of the world. But the president admitted that airstrikes alone won't stop terror attacks around the world. Their ability to uh, recruit uh, disaffected individuals who may be French or British or even U.S. citizens uh, will continue to make them dangerous for quite some time. But, 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 but we will systematically go after them. No Obama presented no new plans to take on ISIL as he faces criticism for a perceived lack of leadership in battling the terrorists. He leaves himself open to the criticism that he's just, he's just weak. He can't commit American uh, leadership. The White House is working with Russia and others to forge a political solution to the civil war in Syria so all sides can focus on fighting ISIL. To find a political transition that maintains the Syrian state, that recognizes there are a bunch of stakeholders inside of Syria, and uh, hopefully uh, to you know, initiate a ceasefire. Obama tried several times to steer the press conference back towards his administration's achievements, even as reporters focused on challenges ahead. He mostly wanted to try to get some credit for a year that he thinks was a lot better than the note that it's seeming to end on. Obama now takes two weeks off in Hawaii, a uh, family vacation after stopping in California to visit victims of the terrorist attack in San Bernardino, Mike. Always talking points at these events, but there, there has to be takeaways, too. I mean, you, you listen to it, you listen to Eleanor Cliff talking about it. I mean, what were yours? Yeah, I mean, President Obama has clearly had a number of, of long-term successes, the U.S. economy, the climate deal, the Iran nuke deal, to name a few. But he seems often to be caught playing catch-up with these ongoing crises like the ISIL threat. The White House plans on being more proactive uh, in Obama's last year in office, taking a bigger leadership role faster as these crises come up. But, uh, Mike, he's going to have to deal with them in a different context because of the presidential election. A lot of this election will end up being about his legacy. He does not want his legacy to be uh, being the president that was asleep at the switch as ISIL grew. So right. you're going to see a new dynamic this next year as president not only tries to be um, have a bigger you know, leadership role actually dealing with the crisis, but a bigger symbolic role within his party as you know these, this election goes forward. It's already a yeah. huge part of this election. Still the standard bearer right yeah. up until the end. Yeah. Right. Whether, so much, he, whether he wants to be or not. Absolutely.